Two of those charges are from his grandma and his grandpa for stabbing them. Okay? Stabbing? <laughs> <laughs> stabbing your grandparents is nuts. Why do you ever need to get to a point where you need to stab your grandparents? Huh? Introducing D Kane. You calling this girl right here a wifey, right? They made this fifty one backwards. Me? I've never yeah, heard sneaky. Is this sneaky stitch or sneaky snitch? I've never heard this type of beat behind it. Drake two point oh. Nah, you're weird, DK, bro. I thought you were something. I thought you were different, bro. Pedo can't pe In today's Whoa! video, we're going to be talking about a beloved TikToker that got exposed for some bizarre things. And Was if you can't let me know if you could subscribe. But enough of my yapping and enjoy the video. I don't even know who this is. One of my Twitch viewers told me to watch this shit, man. Who is DK? Oh, perfect. D. Kane, or Dustin Kane, is a 20-year-old TikToker from Texas. The first type of oh content God, that Oh, God, of course he's from Texas with that fucking Edgar haircut. Create, were cringy thirst traps. Many people would dislike D. Kane Edgar a haircut lot, with the face that's so reasons Texas, bro. why. Many people thought D. Kane was taking this TikToker's style and flow. And this TikToker that I'm talking about goes by the name of Ricky. People seen that D. Kane dressed oddly similar to Ricky, and people didn't like this one bit resulting to D-Kane getting Ricky a bunch Lewis. of hate comments. Another reason why people disliked D-Kane was the fact that he was trying to act like a gangster, but people couldn't take him seriously due to his height. D-Kane's height is 5'3", and when- Bro, there are gangsters that are 5'3", bro, or shorter. People would find this out. They would go crazy in the comments. D-Kane would later on decide to switch up his content and go to the different side of TikTok. And the side of TikTok that he would go to is TikTok Lives. NPC. On these TikTok Lives, <clears throat> D-Kane would meet a person by the name of Lalo. Lalo is a big TikTok streamer and known for his humor. Hey, roses are red. Don't talk to me. Violets are blue. I can't hear you. you. remember the time that Juan left you? Hello, <laughs> Hello. 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 <laughs> Damn. I don't even want to know what he said. You remember the time Juan left you? <laughs> but little did DK know that doing these streams with Lalo would boost his views by a lot. The first few streams that DK did with Lalo were pretty bad for DK because all Lalo would do was roast DK. Bro has a whole drawer of caterpillars. He's like, let me throw these on today. <laughs> um, Ew. I'm what he say? I'm confuzzled. I'm confuzzled, nigga. Bro, oh, you heard him. I'm trying to build a puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> but the more D Kane and Lalo streamed, D Kane started to grow on Lalo. Hey, bro, no, no hate to Lalo, bro. But this is how this is this is a prime example of of the reason why you niggas who want to do content creation should just start, bro. Because I haven't laughed at any of his jokes, but niggas in his comments laughing their ass off it's the same way with everyone i could be i could be super unfunny to people and like groundbreaking hilarious to others bro it's just just, just fucking start bro i'm sorry cool. and dk would also I had to go on that little tangent as well and people would start this to was think just a that prime DK example of like I, I don't really find That's him funny i'm not not crazy. hating or anything but i don't really find him funny <laughs> uh, i like to feel cute sometimes little bro what you gonna do about me feeling pretty bro get at you and then bro said pretty, he could have said handsome or something. Oh, bro. Uh, I like to feel cute sometimes. <laughs> okay, you were getting it. Like Nigga, what is happening? <laughs> this is a gangster talking about I like to feel cute, bro. Just just let that sink in for a second, bro. We Actually, I'm going to leave him out the door. Oh, man. I'm feeling sparkly tonight. How are you feeling tonight? Sparkly? Yo, glittery. Glitter. What you know about that glitter? What's going oh, on with this dude? Look oh, at everybody's face. Things were looking good for D Kane. D Kane's live about? streams would start to garner a bunch of traction. D Kane would also start to create a fan base. And instead of D Kane getting hateful and negative comments, he would get nice and positive ones. Things were looking bright for D Kane and his career on TikTok. Until recently, <laughs> D Kane would get exposed for some things in his past oh that can destroy his career. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, brother.
The next thing that we're going to get into Thank is you. Decan's downfall. A YouTuber and a TikToker by the name of Panchito would interview one of Decan's exes. And this ex of Decan oh, would no. spill the beans about him, saying oh, that no. Decan hit her and his grandparents. He beats not only on females, he beats on his grandparents, actually, too. Is that grandma. a black woman? The Girl. Girl. Yeah, those, those charges, he says, oh, look at my charges. Two of those charges are from his grandma and his grandpa for stabbing them. Okay. Stabbing? <laughs> yeah, no, just... Stabbing your grandparents is nuts. Why do you ever need to get to a point where you need to stab your grandparents? Wait. What? Why did he stab the abuelitos? What, what did they do? All we know is that they were drunk or something like that. It's on his records or something. Yeah. Wait, so... I hope they I'll, lit, I'll, bro. I'll, I'll ask this at the end, but... Okay, so then, he was abusive to you, allegedly, on this account? Yes. It was... It got bad. It got bad, but it wasn't like, oh, I was letting him beat me. I was also, you know, being defensive. Okay. Because I'm not going to let no man beat me. Yeah. Okay. But... Yes, it got to the point where he, we got in this one big argument, and he got mad. He this, the the music phone. playing in the back is throwing me off, bro. <laughs> phone, the pink phone that his whole audio thingy, he broke that. Two. I can't he, tell um, if that's racist or not. They could just play mariachi two, music in the back. Uh, we got in this big argument. I literally pushed him not too hard. Like, bro, you're you're a midget. You can go flying. But I didn't push him that hard. Yeah. Turn around. Yeah, I'm she just called up. this nigga small, bro. Listen to her. You're, you're a midget. You can go fly. You're a I ain't pushing her. <laughs> Yo, girls are just. They're yeah. so spiteful, bro. Turn around. I'm standing up by the couch, and he turns around. He looks at me. And then he literally. Literally? Me so hard. And then he literally slaps me so hard. I he can't tell if this is a black woman or and just like a dark Latina. Like, we're talking about, like, we're talking like I'm about pretty sure it's a black woman <laughs> from her hair, but like, yes, like she barely showing her face. Slaps. And the way she said literally, okay. she sounded like a Spanish girl. And I'm not gonna laughs, lie. He's like, oh, ha, ha, like you're funny. Like I could do it again. I can do it again. I wish I did it even harder. So from there, he was like, don't make me slap you. Like, bro, abusive. And we got into an altercation. He'll be like, don't make me slap you how I did last time. It's definitely a black girl. So that's what he has with bruises on his. I don't know if he showed you on the live because I know I saw that he showed it on. Yeah, the live. maybe both. Yeah. But he has bruises. Oh wait, 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 wait. There we go. Me. From him. Ah, maybe, God, maybe she both. Yeah, she might be both. Walk. She's definitely Three black though. To the point I couldn't breathe, and I told him to let go. And he was like, "Are you done yet? Are you done yet?" I Are was you like, "I'm done yet." Cause he didn't want me to get his phone. That's also when bro, this you choked this. You choked her out because she. You choked her out because you didn't want her to get your phone. What is on your phone that you need to choke out your girlfriend to prevent her from seeing, bro? X and D came were dating. She was not of age. And then uh, by chance, not of age, nigga. By chance, how old are you? looking at right now <laughs> y'all let's just put it like one seven what seven seventeen about to be 18. how old was dk <laughs> she's about to be 18 so she's still not of age how old was this nigga Damn, okay okay so then so let, let me say this, because some girls sometimes like to lie. So was Mr. Confuzzle confuzzled about your no, age? No, that was never. People keep saying that. No, literally, I literally was like, I literally asked him how old he was. And he was like, go look at my famous birthday. So I did. And then it said 20. I was like, you're 20. Oh, I said, I was like, oh, I'm 16. He was like, okay, that doesn't matter. Oh, my God, nigga, what? <laughs> nah. As long as we don't tell anybody, you're going to be an adult anyway. So Okay, okay. Holy shit. What's the age of consent? Because, like, morally, I don't agree with it, but in some states, 16 is okay. I don't agree with it, but in some states, 16 is okay. But, nigga. Okay, let me put it this way, too. In theory, in theory, a four-year difference isn't that big of a deal. As long as you're both over the age of 18, in my opinion, a four-year difference is not that big a deal. As long as you're over the age of 18, both of y'all. Because, nigga, 20 versus 16? Nigga. Could you imagine him at 18 dating her at four? I don't even want to say that, actually. I don't even want to say so that out loud, actually. Sure. <laughs> sure. 
This ex of Decan would find out that Decan was cheating on her, and these girls were younger than Decan's ex, and Decan was asking them for feet pictures. He was cheating on his already underage girlfriend with more underager girls? More younger girls? Is this nigga insane? My last, my last breaking point was I had to go downstairs after begging him to stop talking to girls. Uh -huh. Two little girls, younger than me, um, to um, stop texting them and asking them for feed pictures. No, I haven't got to that point yet. <laughs> You're asking. Not only are you cheating on your already underage girl with younger women or younger girls, not even women, younger girls, you are also asking them for feet pictures? Nigga, what the fuck? Hold on. Um, he, fellas, I woke up, went downstairs, and he's sleeping on the couch, and there's a, he's on the phone with a girl asleep while I'm upstairs sleeping after an argument. So, yeah. Younger girls? Mm -hmm. Younger than you, basically, allegedly? Like a year or two. Mm -hmm. There's actually screenshots that I have. A year or two. You asking for feet pics from 15 or 14 year olds? At the age of 20. When I was with him, I was laying next to him. And girls were arguing with me. And a freshman girl. That's a freshman. Yeah. That literally just became a freshman. And his 23 year old ass. Was asking a girl for feet pictures. Whoa, wait, 23? Dad literally just became a freshman. And his 23 year old ass. He, he asked a 14 year old for a feet pick at 23. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is almost a 10, that's a nine year difference. And you, she's not even of age. Was asking her for feet pictures. Yeah. Panchito would get in a TikTok live with that's DK disgusting. and expose him for these things. That's disgusting. Not worried about asking a girl for pata pics when she was. Uh, I'm not 50. because I know I know what I am. I know I'm big. Everybody wants clout from me. You not okay? Give is, me a second you're not, here. You're not gonna play it like that. Okay, give me a second here. <gasps> you showed her name, right? That's your ex's name. I don't know what that is. Right there. What does it say right there? And what does the date say right there? Oh. High school 2024 to 2025. Nigga, this just happened. This just happened. Oh, uh, what about it? During this school year that's happening right now, it's happened. What? Nigga said, huh? What about it? Did I just hear that right? And what does the date say right there? Huh? What about it? What about it? Nigga, you just got exposed for dating a literal high schooler and you're saying, huh? What about it? What about it? She's a high schooler, gang. What about me saying that I stopped talking to her? Did you listen okay. to what I said? Next person. Let oh my gosh. This nigga. Let's, let's continue right here. Next person, right? Hi, wife. Trying to see my wife. Who you? You calling this girl right here a wifey, right? She's 51 backwards. Oh, hold on. We'll go to exhibit. She's 51 backwards. This See, oh wait, go back seconds. to it. Go back to it. Go back 15. to it. Right here. Go back to it. Exhibit go C. Go back to it. The white go toes doing it, it for me. Yeah. This nigga nasty. Where does she say and her that, age in that? Where does she that say her age? 61 backwards. Where does she say her age? Where does she say her age? Why are you asking a girl for for Where does picks? she say her age? Listen, listen, Lebra. I'm answer. And Why go back to asking? the other screenshot too. Go will, back to the other on. one. I'll go, go back to why, the other one. Why are you asking this girl for? Go back to picks? the other one. You don't even know her age. Go and you're back to the other one. Hold on, Exhibit D. Go back to the other one. That's your that's your contact. I'm 15. How old are you? Oh, all right. I'm 17. Oh. Lying ass, nigga. All right. I'm 17. 
You said you're seventeen, bro. Dude. Oh, nigga lied. This. What is this proof? What is this you, proof, nigga? What? You lied, saying you were seventeen. You lied to a girl saying you're seventy-one backwards, little bro. When did I lie? Where's the date in this? When did I lie? That was a year ago, little bro. It matches your number. That was a year ago. Where does it say the date? I have the dates. So, where's it at? Uh, it's posted on my videos. Check out my recent videos, LeBron. It's not, because you would put it right here. It, it's on my recent video. I you can't post the whole it screen recording right of it. Here. It goes to your Instagram. It goes to your number. Everything. Yeah, you okay. know what I'm saying? Now, pull up the other two that you just showed, though. So here, here's the thing. Here's the thing, man. And I'm going to be honest with you. You can't win with people like you because you're just going to keep arguing back and forth. Lalo would find out about this I and mean, then a TikTok that's live with D-Kane. No wonder d is always trying to be all freaky at the club getting up on these, like, young girls. Nah, you're weird, D-Kane, bro. I thought you were sorry. I thought you were different, bro. I thought you was a real member on the guy. I don't take him seriously. Like, you don't even be banging for the set, bro. Like, like you into these young girls? Nah, bro. Diddy Kane is nuts. <laughs> you tripping. D-Kane would also get pressed at the mall, and these people would confront D-Kane on why oh, he was talking to girls that weren't of age. <gasps> Couldn't find the original clip, so sorry for the Drake Drake go away. Ew, I don't want to hear this. Why are you fucking a 15-year-old girl? Give me my one final thing that I would like to add is that D-Kane broke up with his new girlfriend recently, and the reason why they broke up is because D-Kane put his hands on her, and Again, she would show nigga? proof. But this okay. is just proof that cops were involved. Ooh, restraining order? <laughs> so y'all know. Damn. But I'm not gonna- Bitch, stop zooming out at after D zooming in. Let's see what it says. Leave, but D Kane wouldn't let her. So she had to sit at D Kane's window and scream at the neighbors to call the cops. Oh, she got video. Oh, she got video proof. Oh, So yes, I look embarrassing and I have to sit on the windowsill because it's not letting me leave and his daughter is trying to get her. Um, so then why you just laid your hands on me right there? I did, show me, show me the bruises. Show me the bruises. I fucking patches on. Mm, but if you had bruises, wouldn't you want to show them? If you had bruises, wouldn't you want to show them to the camera? I don't need to. Mm, because your legs, your legs look fine. Obviously, you didn't hit her there. Your legs look fine. You didn't grab my legs, but you grabbed me by my arm. Oh, so if you have bruises, why don't you want to show them to the camera? I would, but I'm not taking off my jacket because I, don't, mm. I have a bra on. Mm. I have a bra on. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. This is sick. We can call the cops and we can get this set. This nigga's nuts. I don't need the cops. Somebody call the cops! All right, yeah, yeah. Don't be yelling like that. He started laughing. He's trying not to laugh. <laughs> Look at him. This nigga tries so hard. And he goes straight for his. <laughs> it's okay to laugh at that. That's kind of funny. The way she's saying it. I mean, the situation is not funny, but the way she said it. Oh, I forgot. It was live. That's why he did that. Okay, I see. And that went on for like 30 minutes to an hour until my mom finally got there and the cops got there. What's the most surprising about this is that not many people are aware of these things that D Kane has done, but this was the rise and fall of D Kane. If you enjoyed this video, consider. Shit, man. This is a terrible person, dude. I don't understand how you could just do stuff like this. Like dead ass, bro. I know when I get to that point of being, you know what I'm saying? Big or whatnot, niggas gonna try and like find some reason to cancel me. You ain't gonna find shit, nigga, because I don't do shit like this. That's, that's just weird, bro. What is the obsession with niggas trying to date underage girls, bro? What is that shit? What, like, what happens in the brain? I, I, I need to know. That shit weird.